race for iron. And not only that, iron was produced at such an extensive estate, a scale, but the quality of iron here was better than the quality of iron produced by the shepherd. So what they did? They sent their team, they learned this, how it was, the formula, technology of it, for a couple of years, and after that, they killed the iron industry here to ensure that they have the market in India. They did in every field. Friends, we were way ahead in technology. Shipbuilding, we, our cholas were known for their sea, sea prowess. They have left the mark which is seen and felt even today. And when the East India Company, which was formed in the year 1600, they came here to Madras. One of the first thing, one of the first technologies that they took from here was that relating to ship, ship building. Because they were sea power themselves, but their technology of building ship was quite inferior. And one of the problems that they faced was the waterproofing of the bottom of the ship. They had a problem bringing the ships for over long distance. They had to stop in between for repairs. So here, from here, they got the technology. They, from this Madras presidency, they got the technology and material for waterproofing the ship, bottom of the ship. And then they killed the industry here. In the field of agriculture, there are reports of 1790. They had started colonizing this country in the decades of 1750. Even nearly 40 dec four decades of their having colonized, even then, 1790. Agriculture of Madras presidency, the data shows in their report, governor's report shows, our average production of rice was six metric ton per hectare. I have been told by the experts and the authorities here that our production here is four to six metric ton, and six metric ton is some parts of Delta region. We get that. It was comparable to rice production in Japan, which was the leading country in the world. But then, heavy taxation. Control over the land, taking over the land and putting heavy taxation, it, it killed it. And the story of the killing was conveyed by, in 1804, the then governor of Madras presidency, William Bentick, he wrote a letter to the company headquarters, East, Com East India Company headquarters. Uh, there he narrates, he wanted some relief. There he says, in the old English, we rode this country so harshly. We rode this country so harshly through our excessive taxation that people who were once prosperous have, have been reduced to lamentable state of poverty. Lamentable state of poverty. And he wanted some relief in the taxation. He was told no. Not only that, he was denied. But subsequently they sent a governor Thomas Munro, 